are doing as well as can be today. So for today, I have an appointment at the hospital for a chest x-ray, which is just to make sure that I don't have the effusion around my heart. It might have come back, so we have to check on that. And I have an appointment with my immunologist to check on my asthma and mast cell activation. So last month, I had a procedure at the hospital to remove a lot of fluid that was building up around my heart for a few months. It was making it harder for me to breathe and it was causing my chest pain to get worse. And they were worried for, about tamponade, which is life-threatening, so it was pretty serious and it was something that was preventing me from getting clearance for a surgery that I need to remove a few cysts along with my extremely uncontrolled super high blood pressure. I have hypertension from hyperpots and my blood pressure has been extremely high and despite all kinds of beta blockers, ACE inhibitors, all different kinds of medications for blood pressure, it has not been able to be controlled. So we're hoping that at least we can solve the effusion around my heart. I'm still wheezing a lot and I'm still very short of breath, but that could be my asthma. So I have very severe asthma from mast cell activation syndrome. So it could be that. So we just need to check to see how my lungs is, are doing and my heart as well. So yeah, um, and my immunology appointment is just a routine appointment to check on my lungs. We're gonna do some PFTs and stuff like that. We're gonna talk about Zolaire because I've really noticed that Zolaire hasn't been helping, especially the last few months. Like my breathing has been so bad and I know the effusion around my heart has made it worse, but I feel that Zolaire is just not doing what I want it to. I've been struggling so much with my breathing and my oxygen saturations have been down in the 80s again. I really need to talk to my immunologist about that. <sighs> I'm out of breath. But here's my outfit of the day. Nice big oversized crochet sweater from Shein and some really thick um, winter leggings. They're ribbed and I have some hiking boots on which I just got recently and of course my infusion backpack. So, let's do this. Zofran in my backpack and I'm trying not to take Zofran so much because it causes dangerous heart rhythms so I'm gonna try to tough it out so let's see if I can do this <laughs> problems getting your lines all caught up together I don't know how I'm gonna even get this it's really like tangled up my Let's see if I can help. yes please <laughs> ah it's really bad see I got this one longer so I could walk oh. further it's still caught up oh it's so windy it's cold when it's windy, yeah. Mama. I, I'm still attached. <laughs> Success. I got disconnected. I'm so tired, but my appointment went well. He wants me to do Dupixent because Zolaire is not helping my asthma. And he wants me to see a pulmonologist because my asthma is really severe and he there's not much he could do for it. 
The problem is, Aetna Better Health doesn't cover a pulmonologist, which is crazy. Yeah, it's Aetna Worst Health is what it should be called. Luckily, on the 1st, which is next week, or in a few days now, I'm going to transfer to a different plan, which is Anthem, because they have better coverage. So I'll be able to get a pulmonologist to treat my lungs, a gastroenterologist for my stomach, gynecologist, everything that I've been needing. So... Thank God we're almost in November, otherwise I would have to wait longer. My immunologist also <clears throat> switched my nebulizer solution. I've been nebulizing because my asthma has been really bad and it kind of helps me to not go to the ER, otherwise I would be in the ER a lot. So I've been using albuterol, but it doesn't help that much. So he switched up my nebulizer solution to something new called Ipratopium. I don't really know how to spell it. I P R A T R O P R I U M. I'll put it up on the screen. I've never heard of it, but hopefully that'll be more effective. He said they use it in the hospital and that I can mix it with albuterol or just do it on its own. So I really hope that helps in combination with the Dupixin. He said the Dupixin could take like a month to get approved. I have to get blood work and they have to submit forms to insurance and blah, 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 all of that. So in the meantime, he told me to get one more Zolaire, but I'm not sure if I want to do that because the way I've been feeling and I've been reacting to like everything. and I'm about to nebulize for the second time today. Like it was for me a few months ago. 
it was so bad that my cardiac silhouette, my heart was enlarged from the fluid surrounding my heart. It was just building up and causing a lot of pressure around my heart and it was hard for me to breathe. It was making it just so bad. My oxygen stats were just so bad and I'm just so grateful my breathing has been better and that the draining procedure worked. So thank you God, very grateful for that. It's a relief. And with that, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog. I'm so happy I could end it on a good note. And I really hope that you're all doing well. I appreciate you so much for watching and I love you to pieces. Oh, and by the way, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already to see me on my chronic illness journey and see some videos about vegan and gluten-free food. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hello.